Breaking news. Hello, this is Dr. Rutledge, and uh, I'm going to do a brief Zoom video, and um, we're recording. So uh, I thought that uh, there might be some interest in looking into a new finding that's come out of my research, as well as it's obvious uh, from just looking at the past research, not mine, and I think it's obvious that what a lot of bariatric surgeons and nutritionists are doing is wrong. <laughs> so I think this is another case where Dr. Rutledge is going to get in trouble again. Uh, uh, there used to be a cartoon where the cartoon character would kind of touch his uh, chin and go, I'm a bad boy. So uh, here we go again. So I talked to a lot of people. Uh, during the past six months, maybe more than 100 who've had different problems, different issues going on. And when I talk to them, I often discuss with them a change in their diet. And many of them are sick, and a lot of them are eating uh, what they're told to by their doctor. Sometimes they're taking uh, protein powders, um, they eat a lot of meat, they um, can eat a lot of eggs and uh, cheese and things like that. And I say, you know, let's just try for a while taking those out and see how, how you do. You don't have to become a vegetarian or anything crazy, but just get rid of them for a couple of weeks and see how you do. And so having done that now for um, almost six months, a lot of people get better and they feel better. And uh, then I also have some research of surveys and I'm going to set some links to that where we follow over 3,000 of our MGB patients. And I'm happy to announce that today I got to talk to one of my patients who I operated on 18 years ago. And uh, he's actually having some problems. He's gained a little weight. His diabetes has come back a little bit, but he's still over 100 pounds down from his previous surgery that he had with me in uh, North Carolina 18 years ago. So um, he's pretty happy, but I think we can polish things up, but he's eating a lot of meat and uh, egg biscuits from Bojangles, which you'll know if you're an American citizen, and uh, pizza <laughs> and other kind of junky foods. So we found when talking to these patients and doing the research and doing the survey that those patients who had the MGB and ate less meat had more people say their operation was perfect and less people who said their operation was fair or poor. Overall, everybody is doing very well with their MGB, with over 90% saying their operation was good or perfect. I mean, perfect? Yeah. So almost 50, uh, almost 40%, 40-some 40 percent, um, said their operation with me was perfect. <laughs> and I had to fill out a lot of surveys to make it come out that way. <laughs> but anyways, it's pretty cool. So, but what I'm seeing from the research and what I'm seeing from talking to patients over the past six months is what's shown in a lot of research. And I'm gonna send a link to this. Um, there's a nice UCSD, University of California at San Diego talk by a specialist on a lot of the research that says eating high protein is bad, okay? On the other hand, lots of bariatric surgeons and lots of bariatric surgeons, nutritionists are telling their patients eat more protein, eat more protein, eat more protein. And they say, otherwise trouble. So who's right? Me. <laughs> and hundreds of other researchers and other studies. But uh, we'll do more on this. This is just a brief um, breaking news and um, We'll put some more links and things like this, give you some backup, uh, and also ask you to fill out your survey. But uh, so that's the end of our little presentation. Those of you who are worried about how much protein you're taking in, there's more research to come, more presentations. And to you who are surgeons, if you're giving lots of protein to your patient and you wanna talk with me directly about the details of the research, or if you just wanna follow along, I think you're gonna find that the idea of high protein does give short-term weight loss, but long-term, it's a deadly cancer-causing, heart attack-causing, 
osteoporosis causing dietary plan. And here's the funny thing. Bariatric surgeons and bariatric surgeons nutritionists are pushing protein, protein, protein. Yet what's the biggest, most frequent complication after other surgeons surgery? Weight regain. And so they're pushing protein. A lot of their patients are trying to follow it, getting sick, and yet they're gaining their weight back. Maybe what they're doing isn't right. 23 years ago, I was right when I said the MGB was a good choice. I just had some information today that one of the most famous lap band surgeons in the United States just took a course in how to do the MGB. And uh, apparently all over uh, New York and other states, uh, some of the insurance companies are starting to cover the MGB. So it's only took me, taken me 23 years, but good wins out. <laughs> Anyways, more on this later. Normal protein diet, better for you than a high protein diet over your lifespan. Look up TMAO, look up AGE for advanced glycation end products. Look up high methionine, low methionine. There's this and dozens of other research topics. A normal lower average protein diet, like we ate 50 years ago, 10 years ago, 100 years ago, the percent of protein we ate was lower. And as we have increased that protein content, it has affected the heart attack, stroke rate in those who eat those higher protein levels. Animal studies, human studies, my research, my personal experience with you, uh, my patients who are listening in and those who are not my patients, but are just listening because you're waiting for another YouTube video. <laughs> for all these reasons, we think that there's more to come. We don't have all the details now, but as the uh, breaking news report, don't worry about high protein, talk with your doctor, don't do anything that I tell you just because you heard it on YouTube. But uh, we think that, that we can now marshal together a good research argument that pushing high protein for a long-term treatment of weight loss after weight loss surgery is not only not a good idea, but maybe an actively bad idea. All right, thanks very much. And well, that wasn't that, that smooth. <laughs> Goodbye.